There is a wide variety of cave systems, from ancient mines to secluded caverns billions of years old. Inside it are found objects and living beings abandoned and hidden for centuries, decomposing in darkness and silence. We'll explore some of the most disturbing discoveries unearthed in these caverns, including one that has remained closed for millions of years. But what do you think would be found inside a cave closed for 5 million years, completely cut off from the outside world? Dinosaurs, prehistoric insects, alien life? No one knew until Dr. Christian Lascu in Romania managed to open the cave after 5 billion years. Movil Cave in Romania has remained isolated from the outside world for millions of years. A limestone rock blocked the entrance to the cave at the same time that our prehistoric ancestors began to evolve into humans. When scientists finally opened it up in the 21st century, they discovered that the inhabitants of Cueva de Movil are truly unique. This cave in Romania has been sealed for millions of years, creating unique conditions inside. Although toxic and oppressive, researchers consider it a treasure. Fewer than 100 people have entered the cave since its discovery in 1986. It is protected by limestone shafts and tunnels, and is currently only accessible with special permission. The air inside it has low oxygen content and high levels of carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide. There is no sunlight and the temperature is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. The smell of rotten eggs indicates the presence of hydrogen sulfide, which is extremely lethal. The cave has allowed extraordinary life to flourish, including chemosynthetic bacteria that could help tackle greenhouse gases. Most of the cave's inhabitants are blind and colorblind. They do not need sight or beauty in complete darkness. They are thin, with long legs and antennae to find their way around in the dark. The presence of chemosynthetic microbes makes them look like aliens. Instead of photosynthesis, they obtain energy and carbon through chemical reactions, such as the oxidation of sulfur or ammonium. It is not known how the animals got into the cave or how they became trapped there. There are 48 different species, including spiders, scorpions, and centipedes. An astonishing 33 of them are unique to this cave and found nowhere else on Earth. They have been there longer than humans have existed, but their discovery was delayed due to the isolation in the closed cave. Most of the creatures in the cave are blind and lack pigmentation. They have evolved long limbs and antennae to move without relying on sight. They are unlike anything we have seen before in an environment without sunlight. The evolution in this place seems strange. The area has a unique ecosystem that takes advantage of the dangerous gases from the cave. Some species can thrive on these gases, although we cannot survive on them. Bacteria carry out chemosynthesis, converting harmful gases into food. This chemical process provides these bacteria with energy and food, similar to photosynthesis in plants. Smaller organisms feed on the bacteria and are then eaten by larger animals such as scorpions and spiders. In turn, worms, shrimp, and other small creatures feed on the bacteria. This self-sustaining life cycle allows everything in the cave to live and thrive. Movil Cave is a unique environment on dry land, similar to environments found in the deep ocean near hydrothermal vents. Researchers have had access to this cave for many years and hope to gain new data on evolution. Although experts still don't understand how the animals got into the cave, some bacteria are thought to have been there for much longer than 5 million years, while other animals may have accidentally fallen in before the cave was sealed. These animals have adapted to survive with the limited resources available. More than 50 species have been discovered in the cave, including poisonous insects and predators such as centipedes. Although scientists have known about the cave for a long time, much remains to be discovered, and the new finds are expected to offer valuable insights into evolution and life itself.
Israeli scientists have discovered an ancient ecosystem in an underground cave near the town of Romli. This cave, located 328 feet underground in a limestone quarry, has been shielded from the outside world for millions of years. Eight previously unknown species were found in it, including crustaceans and invertebrates resembling scorpions and shrimp. The ecosystem of the cave is special and isolated, with passages that extend for approximately 1.5 miles. The discovery highlights our lack of knowledge about life on our planet and the importance of continued research. The creatures in the cave have been protected by a layer of chalk impervious to water and external nutrients. These species depend on a self-sufficient and independent ecosystem, in contrast to animals that depend on the photosynthetic food chain. Although there are other similar caves in Mexico and Romania, none is as remote as this Israeli cave. The Rising Star Cave System in South Africa has revealed discoveries that challenge our ideas about human evolution. Before the first hints of burial by modern humans, evidence was found that a mysterious ancient human species buried its dead and left carvings on cave walls. This suggests that these behaviors were not unique to the more intelligent Homo sapiens and Neanderthals, as previously believed. In 2013, during excavations in the Rising Star Cave system in South Africa, the first fossils of Homo nality were discovered. These caves are part of a UNESCO World Heritage Site that is considered the birthplace of humanity. In this region, researchers have found fossils of several species of early human ancestors, contributing to our understanding of the history of human evolution. Dr. Lee Berger, a paleoanthropologist and National Geographic explorer-in-residence, has led a team of explorers investigating vast and dangerous cave systems. Their goal is to learn more about extinct hominins and early human ancestors. Recently, the team made a significant discovery, adult and juvenile homo nality skeletons that were preserved in a fetal position in depressions in the cave floors. These burials date to at least 100,000 years before known Homo sapiens burials. During the exploration of the tombs in the cave, markings were found on the walls, including geometric designs and cross lines similar to hashtags. These markings are estimated to be between 241 and 335,000 years old, although further testing is required to confirm their exact age. Homonality has been found to practice intentional burials, use symbols, and engage in meaning-related activities. These findings suggest that these early human ancestors were involved in sophisticated rituals associated with death, indicating that symbolic behaviors are not unique to humans and may not be novel. Homonality was characterized by having smaller heads, shorter statures, and a stockier build than humans but they also walked upright and used their hands to manipulate objects. Numerous Homo nality fossils, including adults and newborns, have been discovered in the caves, providing information about its population. Furthermore, it was observed that Homo nality was very familiar with the cave system and used it extensively. The theory that this species intentionally deposited its dead in caves was controversial due to the size of its brain and has been widely discussed. In 2018, researchers discovered that Homo nality deliberately buried its dead in oval holes in the cave. They found coiled bodies in tombs carved into horizontal slopes, showing that they were not accidentally transported. The bodies were completely covered in earth before decomposing showing that they were buried as complete human entities. They also found engravings on the wall and a tool buried next to an adult homo nality. The cave walls had geometric engravings made of dolomite, a very resistant rock. There is no evidence that humans have been in the caves, which suggests that homo nality made the engravings. In addition, homo nality used fire inside the caves, as evidenced by the soot, charcoal, and burned bones found in them. The symbols and burials of Homo nality suggest significant behaviors, but researchers aren't sure what they meant or whether they served as a form of interspecies communication.
Various species, including Homo nalidae, Homo sapiens, Neanderthals, and Denisovans, engaged in behaviors previously thought to be unique to humans. This challenges our ideas about when hominins began using fire, creating meaning, and burying their dead. Researchers continue to study Homo nalidae to learn more about its age, relationship to humans, and the possibility of finding DNA in bones found in the caves.